But let's now check how this incredible pressure is affecting Anthony Albanese. Joining me is Dr. Louise Marla, an expert in face-to-face -face communication to coaches, executives, and others. Louise, can I take you, uh, thank you for your time. Can I take you through some of the footage just from the campaign trail today to get your opinion on how the two leaders are feeling about themselves and projecting themselves as well on this fourth day of a campaign that's gone horribly wrong for Labor. First, tell us what you think when Albanese today answers a hostile question. Here he is responding to a journalist asking about his controversial new plan for GP super clinics, uh, why he didn't just put the money into hospitals instead if that was the problem, if they were struggling. Here he is. Uh, these urgent care centres, which will be located uh, in, there'll be a bidding process from existing GP clinics or from community health centres uh, to establish these centres that can provide uh, extended care seven days a week. Louise Marler, that was a fairly typical uh, grab from his press conference today. What did you pick up from his body language there? Well, I pick up that it's getting tighter and tighter, just elements of stress. So the jaw clamps and we get centres, a lot about centres. We're also getting the hands closing across, hands closing across, and we're getting the air breaking as he speaks. I think the mind is second guessing. I get that in another grab we played earlier uh, tonight. I also thought the framing of the shot did him no favours. He's standing in front of his local candidate in the Hunter, a giant of a man towering behind him more than two metres tall who made him look almost insignificant. Am I seeing too much in this? I mean, uh, that kind of, you know, detail that uh, they should be perhaps a bit more careful or is, is that really uh, fussing about little things? I think they should be a lot more careful. I mean, it looks like a minder behind him. But the man, half his head's chopped <laughs> off. Um, you know, uh, that, that, that's not appropriate. No, I think it makes your leader look in the incredible shrinking man when you do that. Um, now to Scott Morrison. He started this campaign looking gone for all money, way behind in the polls. But here he is today answering a hostile question himself. He hasn't yet given us a promised uh, integrity commission and Labor, Al Albanese today, said that's because he is a minister who's been caught out by it, would be fronting this integrity commission if there was actually one. But tell us here about how you see Morrison answering this, his body language especially. His accusation is that the actions of ministers there would put them in the commission now and that's why you don't have one. Well, this is Anthony Albanese as usual. He doesn't have an economic plan, so he goes for the grubby smear. He's been doing that for the last three years. Anthony, having a crack at me is not a substitute for not having an economic plan and not knowing what's going on in the economy. You know, we're in an election campaign now. People want to know what you think now, mate, not just what you think about me. Um, people know what you think about me. I think it's pretty clear. What did that footage tell you? Uh, what it tells me is that, um, once again, we get the pointing, we get the dominance, we get the head throwing. And these are things that are not appealing to the public. I think that, uh, and side to side, moving away from the question, which shows um, contempt in some way, uh, I think that... Uh, uh, I think he, hand, he answered it well, but I'd love to see his body language softer. People need to see him softer and stop falling into that pit of contempt. So you're thinking is a, a little bit of arrogance uh, creeping in here, do you think? Uh, I think he's got reason for arrogance. Um, he always has arrogance. <laughs> he always has. Mm. But he has that contempt. I want to see the leaning forward, the pointing, the frown, looking forward, um, sometimes listening, the head tilting back, the face down, um, the mouth going with little smirks. These are, are mannerisms that should be gone if you're going to be leading a nation and getting people on board. I want to see them gone. Well, I'm hearing you completely, but um, I guess you can see his mojo, at least in, in, internally, is, is coming back. He's feeling confident. Uh, he looked browbeaten earlier this year, to be honest. 
But mm. looking at Anthony Albanese, when you see the two now together, you, you see uh, confident, you say uh, contemptuous even, uh, Scott Morrison is clearly feeling on top of his game. Your comments about Albanese, how do you think he is feeling in contrast? I think Albanese will be in a state of total panic. I believe that Albanese has all the signs of performance anxiety. And this is not easily solved. And he'll be going into a negative spiral at the moment uh, in his thinking, which will be very difficult to overcome with this pressure of the campaign. Scott Morrison, on the other hand, is a killer performer. And a campaign is something he enjoys, like a boxing match. He's ready to go. He's pumping his fists up. and he's going to attack. Well, uh, in that case, uh, this uh, Easter weekend, long weekend, couldn't come soon enough for Anthony Albanese to regroup. Louise Marler, thank you so much indeed for your time. Thank you.